Hey guys, welcome back to Chi Takes On. Today I will be talking a little bit about my experience with the next gen NCLEX. I know that for like this graduating cohort and everyone that's taken the NCLEX in the last couple months, it's been like, oh my gosh, next gen, what is it going to be like? We're one of the first people to take it. But I took it and I passed in 85 questions. I'm so, so happy to do that. Um, some people are curious as to what you used to study, what tools, how long did I study for, and I am super excited to just let you guys know how I studied, what did I use, how long I studied for. So I started studying, um, I think I, I studied for about like three to four weeks consistently. I started a, a little bit after my practicum, that was at the end of May. And into July, I took a little couple days break for graduation and everything. And then I continued to study. My study methods were to watch Mark K. I did watch Mark K. I watched um, all 12 of the lectures. Was it 12 or 13? Hmm. But I watched all of them. I would watch one a day. And if I did not feel like watching one a day or I felt like I, I was too tired or I couldn't do one full one, I break it up and do like half of it and then continue the rest of the half. Another day, I started doing next gen questions um, using Archer. So Archer was amazing. I really love Archer. I know a lot of people talk about UWorld. I was ready to use UWorld. I was like, okay, let's do UWorld. But many people also started talking about Archer and then I looked into it. And I really liked the part about Archer is that you can take as many readiness exams or as many computer adaptive tests. With UWorld, you only were limited to about like two or three unless you kept purchasing more. But with Archer, you could take as many of the readiness tests. So what I would do is I would watch Mark K and then after I would watch Mark K, then I would try and sit for a readiness exam or a computer adaptive test. Then I would, of course, give myself some break, like a little bit of break. And then I would try to write out rationales. Like I would go back, look at the questions that I missed, look at the rationales. I won't lie. When I first started studying, I started, I was watching Mark K and then I would do the computer adaptive test or readiness exam. And then when it was time for me to start writing rationales, I'm like, oh my gosh, I do not want to look at rationales today where I don't feel like it. I'm tired. So Sometimes it would be the next day I would start with looking at rationales and when I, so a couple of days I did not do rationales and then when I was like, hold on, you need to go do rationales, write your rationales, read over your rationales. I started doing that and I was like, oh my gosh, that was a silly mistake. Oh my gosh. And I was like catching certain things or even things that I didn't know. I'm like, oh, okay. And I feel like <clears throat> Mark K specifically helped me to decipher and to pick an answer even when I would not know. Like I, as I was doing questions, like practice questions, I was trying to just draw conclusions and I'm like, okay, what is the safest thing? I've never heard about this condition or I've never heard about this a day in my life. What is the safest thing? Or like, what does this sound like? Or like, if it has myo in it, be like, okay, it has something to relate to the muscles. So I'm like, hmm, okay. So then I would use that for process of elimination. Archer says that if you take four consecutive readiness exams, um, you have like, uh, I think it was like a 98% chance of passing or whatever. But that's always like, they say that, but it's like, hmm, are you sure about that? I took, I took a couple readiness exams. I took like maybe five or six of them and also took several computer adaptive tests. Um, and they want you to score high or high or very high, which I was getting. However, there was one test and I will say, if you feel overwhelmed, you need to stop. You need to just pause. You need to go breathe. You need to go distract yourself. I remember I was distracted. I was not in the, like the proper headspace to take one of the readiness exams. I knew I wasn't prepared. And I was like, I'm just going to do it. Let's just see. No, no, that brought me way back. And then after I did do well on that 
on that readiness exam, then I was getting in my head. I was like, oh my gosh, do I know any of this stuff? Should I even do this? Oh my God. Like I was freaking myself out. And I was like, wait, you weren't prepared to take that. You weren't, you like there's people distracting you and you decide to start clicking buttons. Like that made no sense for you to do that. So I was like, yeah, let's scratch that and just keep it moving. So Archer was amazing. Also, as weird as it sounds, even the background of Archer, like when you start a readiness exam, it, it, the background and the way it closes out, it kind of just like mimics the, the exam. So I felt like when I saw the NCLEX exam, I wasn't like freaked out because I'm like, oh, this kind of feels like Archer. And when I was doing Archer exams, I was telling myself, this is like your NCLEX, like, just do it. Like, you got it. And I feel like with preparing for your NCLEX, you really have to prepare your mind to like, Go get some fresh air, get some good breakfast, exercise, workout, do whatever you need to do. Self-care to take care of yourself mentally before going into this stuff. Because you have to, to going into studying, because you have to be at your like best self mentally with studying because it's just so much and not freaking yourself out. So every readiness exam I would take, I'm like, okay, let's just relax. And when I take NCLEX, let's just... It's just like the regular Archer test, relax. Um, the readiness exams have 85 questions. Oh, Mark K, I forgot to mention Mark K. I mentioned him, but when I was listening to Mark K, I would take notes on the Mark, on Mark K. And on days that I would not do a readiness exam, I would sometimes just go through and just read a little bit of the lecture notes. His prioritization video was really nice. I really liked that. I really like his, um, like the mental health questions and how he like breaks down the drugs and helps you to like memorize it. Acid-base balance, man. Mark K made me to know that like that. I was like, oh snap, it's that easy. Like he just makes, I feel like sometimes in nursing school with exams, you feel like you are not capable of accomplishing it or you don't know what, what's going on or anything. But Mark K, I feel like he just, calms you and, and makes you feel like i know this it's just this if it's not a or b then it's c if it's not this or this then it's that i definitely think their strategy when doing select all that applies and the next gen style we know that now we get partial credit on next gen questions and the case studies i felt like in my exam i had several case studies i i definitely think i had i don't know if i, I think i I had more than eight. I don't know. I just felt like I just kept getting case studies after case studies. Um, but I was saying that with the case studies, doing that, and with the next gen questions and SATA, when you're picking, because we have partial credit, now as you select certain things, you, if you do not know, you're like, I don't know, or I am curious, I'm not really sure, don't pick it. Because if you're wrong, it's going to subtract you a point. It's just like, it's like a teeter-totter. It's like, it might be right, it might not be right, I don't know. And I felt like Archer kind of helped me to see that. Like, when I would take, when I would take, like, exams or do practice questions and stuff like that, and I would look back, it's like, if five choices, if there were five right answers, and I selected four right answers, I would just get subtracted one point for not, like, I wouldn't be... I, I, I would just like lose a point or I wouldn't get that point. However, if you selected four correct answers plus two incorrect answers, you're only gonna get two points for it. So out of five, you would only get two points. So it's, there's five right answers. I selected four right answers. However, I selected two incorrect answers. So I lost a point from not selecting the last correct answer. Then I would lose two more points for selecting incorrect answers. You get penalized for when you're wrong. So be careful and really like think it through like, is this it? If I'm not sure, do I want to possibly lose this point or possibly not? But as I would go on, I would just be like, at least I get a point for something. Um, so I use Mark Klemek. I used Archer and I would look over my rationales. If you guys have any other questions or any part that you want me to elaborate on, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, don't feel afraid 
to leave a comment down below. Hit the subscribe button if you like this video or if you want more videos like this. Just let me know. Thanks for tuning in. Bye, guys. Till next time.